Today's podcast looks at the ballad The Broomfield Wager, a ballad of would-be seduction foiled by herbal magic. It includes talking animals and an unsavoury suitor. I'll also sing some samples of the tunes associated with the song and end on a full performance. I'll bet you twenty pounds, master, twenty pounds unto your ten. I'll meet me love in yon green woods and a maid return back again. I'll meet me love in yon green woods and a maid return back again. And when she came to yon green woods, she found her love asleep. Nine times she kissed his rosy cheek as he lay fast asleep. Nine times she kissed his rosy cheek as he lay fast asleep. Sometimes she went to the crown of his head, sometimes to the sole of his feet. Sometimes she kissed his rosy lips as he lay fast asleep. Sometimes she kissed his rosy lips as he lay fast asleep. She took the ring from her finger, put it on his right hand, that he may know when he did awake that his love had been there and gone, that he may know when he did awake that his love had been there and gone. That tune and words for this version was taken down by Cecil Sharp in 1904, from Mrs. Overd of Langport in Somerset. The song of attempted seduction has had a widespread circulation throughout England and Scotland, with some versions collected in Ireland and the USA. The general storyline is that a wager is set between a squire and a maid, that she cannot meet the squire in the merry green wood and return a maiden. The maid accepts the challenge. When she reaches the Broomfield Hill, she finds her love sleeping, and with the aid of magic ensures that her would-be lover remains asleep. The magic comes in the form of broom blossom or roses, laid at his head and feet, or strewn around his sleeping form. In some versions she kisses him nine times, three on his head, three at his feet, and three on the lips or cheeks. She then leaves a token, a ring or a rose, in his hand or on his breast, to let him know she was there. When he wakes and realises his mistress' chance for seduction, he asks his horse, greyhound, gossok, and servant why they did not wake him, and they replied they tried, but the magic was too strong. He rants and raves, then threatens his horse that if he does not catch her, he'll feed it to the birds. In some versions, he claims that had he been awake, he would have had his will of the lady before killing her and feeding her to the birds. Clearly not a very nice man. Professor Child in the English and Scottish popular ballads went to some length to show that similar storylines were widespread through Europe, one tale from as early as 1185. The earliest printing of the ballad in Britain was from a broadside ballad printed in Newcastle in the early 18th century, and the earliest copy collected from a traditional singer was printed in David Hurd's Ancient and Modern Scots Songs in 1776. Although the earliest versions were collected in Scotland, there is nothing to identify this ballad particularly as a Scottish ballad. The ballad collectors of the 18th and early 19th century tended to concentrate on Scotland rather than England or Ireland. The earliest tune was printed in 1827 in George Kinloch's Ancient Scottish Ballads under the title Lord John. She strew some roses on the ground Threw a mantle on the briar And left the bell from her middle small as a token that she had been there. The rustling leaves flew about his head And roused him from his dream And by the roses and mantle green Knew his love had been and gone. Oh, where were you, my good grey steed? A steed that cost me so dear You didn't waken your master When you knew his love was here I stamped with my footmaster Shook my bridle till it rang I cried, waken my good master For now is the hour and time There are a wide number of tunes collected for this ballad 
although the bulk of them are from the south of England, collected by Sasso Sharp, Henry Hammond and Ralph Vaughan Williams. The earliest and most complete versions of the ballad tell of a consultation with a witch woman who advises the use of broom to induce sleep. Now the term witch woman is more likely to refer to a local herb specialist or midwife rather than the later Daughter of Darkness image that followed the 16th and 17th century witch hunts. The broom and the rose have long been associated with courtship and seduction. Both have relevance in the tradition for inducing sleep either by their magical properties or their seductive perfume. The broom was known as a plant that restored harmony and was used in spells for protection and purity. It was said to be used by witches in their charms, also as a guard against witchcraft. The rose was known for love and beauty. It was also a flower of revelation and mystery, a portal for knowledge and information. Some later versions have the maiden giving him a drug drink before he leaves for the woods and others have him drinking and carousing off the night before the wager, and hence he falls into a deep sleep when he reaches the woods. Three times he called for his horse and his man, the horse he once bought so dear. Same way didn't you wake me out of my sleep when my lady, my true love, was here. Three times did I call you my master, three times did I blow with my horn. But out of your sleep I could not you awake Till the lady your true love was gone. Had I been awake when me true love was here, Of her I would have my will. If not the pretty birds in this merry green broom Were the blood they should all have their fill. That tune and words were collected in 1910 by Vaughan Williams From Mrs Powell of Webberley in Herefordshire. This version was included in the Penguin Book of English Folk Songs. The song conforms with other traditional ballads and tales in that the horse, hound and gossip are able to talk and answer their master's inquiry as to why they had not tried to wake him when his love was come and gone. By the beginning of the 20th century the song had seemed to have died out in Scotland whereas a significant number of versions were collected in the south of England where the collectors from the Folk Song Society tended to focus. The Broomfield Wager has seen popular and regular publication in broadside ballads, which may account for its continuity within the tradition both in Britain and the USA. More recent versions have been recorded mostly in England from traditional singers such as Cyril Porter and Walter Pardon, and are available on CD or download. I will end this podcast with a performance of the Broomfield Wager, sung by Nick Dow, and accompanied by Nigel Cantor on violin. This version was collected in 1907 from Marina Russell of Upway in Dorset. And when he woke out from his 
sleep he found his love had gone No bird flies faster through the woods The sheep flies through the broom Now where be you on me little foot page Where me love she was so near Why didn't you awaken me When me true love she was here I'll sleep more in the night master And I'll wake more in the day And then you'll know when your true love's here And when she goes away 